We have a second winner. Okay. So this was the first, and we picked another pond giveaway winner. Owen Smith. Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, and Paul Cafaro are gonna do this in your yard in memory of your dad so that you can enjoy this hobby too. This is gonna be a blast. Owen, you ready? Ready to get an aquascape pond. Canada, here we come. to wake up <laughs> and there's our chaperone and there's the guys I love it all the neighbors are gonna be going what's going on we are building the pond baby let's do this <laughs> all right see you brother just another day at the office right? <laughs> morning and here's the man the myth the legend himself Joey what that actually doing? came out and scoped this out. What's up, Paul? How's it going, buddy? <laughs> He's a little tired. He's a little <laughs> tired. <laughs> There's a pond going in in this neighborhood. All because Owen took it on himself to initiate getting this pond built. I mean that is a tight, that's a tight access. This is typical Canada. It's tight. Huh? It's tight. Yeah. Joe, you want to introduce us to Sarah? Sure. There she is. Well, I want to see you. I feel like I know you. I know, yes. From all your videos. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Dude, Hi. how you doing, Owen? Hi. Great to meet you. I know that you really don't care about meeting me, but Paul's here. <laughs> Congratulations thank on you. getting this, man. And there he is. What's up, man? Hi. Nice to meet you, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And then yes. who's this guy? This is Gavin. Are you are you happy for your brother, Gavin? Come here. I think he's just as excited as I, 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 yeah. Are you happy for your brother for applying for this? I think I mentioned to you that I didn't even know that he entered the contest. When he came to me. I thought it's full of baloney. Well, we are gonna we are gonna transform this small backyard, and it's interesting because the smaller the space, the bigger an impact a water feature makes. <laughs> oh man, you got a hot tub. You're gonna have a perfect backyard back here. We're having a hard time envisioning it. Oh, you're having a hard time envisioning it? Yeah. It's going right there. Oh, there's your waterfall. Can't you, can't you picture that waterfall going? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Joey, what do we got? So tell us uh, tell us what we're doing here. This is the, the side we're using, uh -huh. right, of the yard. Yeah. So they can still have some grass. So, I mean, basically how it's kind of set up right now, it could be a little bit more room. Skim roll over there. We have all this space to work with you. So the waterfall's back here, nice berm for plantings. And then we got like a six by eight pond in here. What do we got? Eight by eleven? What do we got? The ability to go up to it eleven by sixteen. Okay, so we're just gonna put the pond in here. And what's gonna be awesome, Sarah, is you're gonna be able to sit in your hot tub and literally feed your fish if you want to. <laughs> Small backyard, but it's gonna be a big impact. I know that your family has been through a lot. And so for Paul and I to be able to come out here and do this for you guys, you know, there was 10,000 people that entered this contest. We gave it to two. We gave it to a Marine that served his country and lost his legs. And we gave it to Owen, who is, how long has Jeff been gone now? Uh, it'll be two years in August. Right. So that's a tough thing as a single mom. We want to be able to entertain your boys. And you need to be able to have a little meditation garden for both of you guys out in your yard. <laughs> I'm excited, man. It never gets old because every time we build a water feature, it's a unique work of art, one of a kind of custom creation. And you're going to help us, right? Yep. We're going to get you digging. We're going to get you foaming. We're going to get yep. you rocking. When we leave here seven or eight hours from now, there's going to have water flowing and everything else here. And it's going to be a new hobby for your family. Your whole family is going to enjoy this. And we're starting to dig the first scoops out for the skimmer. Right, Chucky? Eh? Yep, yep, yep. That plumbing is put in, excavation has begun. It's a good day. You never know what you're gonna dig up. I don't know what that is. Maybe a bed spring? Jeez. Okay, first layer's done, second layer's coming. We're gonna have a deep stream falling in right where the water falls, the biofall starts. So we've uh, got some big boulders, so we're gonna put it in. All on the fly design. So let's sneak up on Joey. I don't think he likes snakes. Okay. All right. Sneak up on him, don't even. Go walk behind me, you can walk behind me. How could you not like snakes? Let's see, here he is, right there, perfect. He stays right behind me. Oh. I like it. Oh, it's going right into your hair. Look how pretty 
shit. <laughs> so you're the one that's afraid of snakes, huh? Dang it, you did the wrong guy. <laughs> future pond builders. Here goes the underlayment and the liner. So the pond is excavated, the underlayment goes down, which is a geotextile woven fabric, and then on top of that goes the liner, the rubber liner, and then <laughs> we're gonna be rocking the pond in, buddy. This is what kids do. They run around when they see something fun to play in. And they're hooking up the skimmer and they're teaching them how to do it. This is what it's about right here. Teaching them how to build ponds. <laughs> oh, and what do you think, buddy? I think it's me. <laughs> we have an issue. <laughs> oh, smart. Smart, Paul. Zip tie. Yeah, zip yeah, tie your finger. Actually, yeah. I don't think we have an issue. Just leave it on there. Stuck on my finger. It'll be part of your rings. It's a perfect ring for you. Oh, it's getting it tight. fits perfect. My fingers turning purple. <laughs> this is the stuff I have to deal with. A 49-year-old CEO having to deal with an 18-year-old that thinks like an 18-year-old. <laughs> All right, so now we're uh, starting the jigsaw puzzle of putting the boulders in. So Joey, you like to do this. You put an uh, extra layer of underlayment on top to protect it. You got some big rocks. I just find like cutting little squares of fabric for the rocks. It's, I don't know. It's too time consuming. We just- Hey, 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 Chuck. Let Owen do that. Owen, come here. You're gonna cut the liner up. Anyway, we just put this in and we'll cut it out after, yeah, after yeah. all the rocks are in. So, just right. takes time, I think. So strapping up some nice boulders right there. What are you doing? Explain. Setting the water level height to the laser. So I, I'm making sure that all of our rocks are high enough along the edges here. Yep. Especially where the waterfall is coming in. You don't want it to be underwater. We're probably only going to have a foot, foot and a half drop here, right? Yeah. It's all you need. It's all you need because this is a flat backyard and so this waterfall will be 12 to 16 inches and it's gonna look perfect for this size yeah, space. Look good. Anything higher would look out of place. It would look like a volcano spewing lava. Tip of the day, do not make a high waterfall in a flat backyard. One foot, foot and a half here and it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Where do you think the waterfalls is? Can I point it out? Right over there behind that bucket. What do you think? Do you like waterfalls? Why? Uh, I like the sound. Are you proud of your brother for entering this contest? Yeah. Is he your favorite brother? I don't know. <laughs> All right, what are you thinking, buddy? So good. What were you thinking compared to what you're getting? Is it bigger, better? Way better. Here. I like how the tall rock like overlap. We got big rocks over here. We got a bloody finger, which is what happens. But, All right, the pond is being filled. Just a few minutes late, I would say, but we've actually got the kids gone for a little bit, so we might make some progress now. <laughs> and it's raining, but that's okay. We still building the pond. And this is the jigsaw puzzle of building a waterfall. And that rock there will balance out that rock right there. Good. How you guys doing? Good. All right, so we got the local fire guys, huh? So Jeff worked with you men, huh? Awesome. I'm the pond guy, Greg, Hi, Greg. out of Chicago. 
And Joey is our local certified Aquascape contractor who's leading this build. Beautiful. So it was it Stein? Stein, yeah. The pond guy, Greg. How you doing, nice to meet you. What do you guys think? Great, great. <laughs> well, in two hours, we'll have it landscaped and the water flowing. Perfect. Stein, this is the special rock. Oh, she doesn't know this is coming. She right? doesn't know what's coming. Okay, let's put let's put it on the side right over here. Yeah. What is it? Is this his number or something? Yeah, so that's Clarendon Emergency Fire Services. Uh -huh. and his badge number is 420. Amen. Yeah, this is set it right over here. I don't want him to see it. And here comes the decorations on the Christmas tree. The plants. What do you think, Paul? Did you go nuts with my credit card? Nuts. Always. <laughs> so is this what you typically do on a Monday? Uh, you know, whatever we need to do for the community, right? There you go, bro. Oh, this is so fun. It has certainly been a group effort out here today. What an absolute blast with the fire department coming in to pitch in and give us the prize. And now the decorations on the Christmas tree right there are going in. Okay, are you guys ready to do this? Yeah. Okay, come on and see what uh, what was created in, geez, six hours. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, how about a hand for the team that did this, guys? Come on down, Owen. What do you think? That's really good. <laughs> you like it, bro? Six hours ago, Mom, this was just grass. You like your your waterfalls and your spillway there? Listen to that sound. That's your backyard, Mom. We've done it a few times before. But wait, there's more. We have one more thing, Owen. This is uh, from your dad's, your dad's work friends. You know, he's part of a fraternity, a, a fraternity of fire officers. And look what they brought for you. Oh, oh, beautiful. Yeah? How, what do you think of that? Amazing. So what is, how did you make this? This is? This is Clarence Emergency Fire Services. Yeah. Jeff Smith, badge number 428. Aww. And I think Joey, the lead builder here, where were you going to put this? Oh my gosh. It looks like it should always be there. That's gonna, this is gonna be a place for you to come back and remember your dad and talk to your dad back here and your husband. And this is, I think this is a fitting tribute to, to, to him. This is really, this is really the signature part of your yard now. Thank you. You deserve it. And I, what I love about this is, I was a 12 year old kid once too, when I built my first pond. And the fact that, that you have a mom that's supporting you and a family, you guys are a great family. For us to be able to do this and give this to you, this is a gift from us that we would love to do. So we actually had a blast doing this. This was a labor of love for all these guys. And I want to thank Genescapes for actually leading this build because without him, we wouldn't have been able to get this done. And the fire department and the grandmas for preparing the food and the kids for helping, especially this young man. He gets the cake right here. giving away pods. Hey, if you like this stuff, please like, comment, and share this stuff because we need more people living the Aquascape lifestyle. I love my job.